perfect with another one of these. Yeah. Um, so this time we're uh, going to preview the Cowboys and Giants game because I'm recording this after Sunday Night Football. And that was a pretty boring game, I'm not going to lie, up until the end, obviously. Um, yeah. We're going to, um, first of all, I'm scared of Dallas's pass rush, obviously, because they have Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence. Um, second, I'm scared, not too scared of the secondary. The only thing that, you know, pops out is Trayvon Diggs, but he's, um, he's tight. <laughs> like, he's good, yeah, but, like, gets burned multiple times, so I'm not really too scared of Trayvon Diggs. Um, oh yeah, we're getting right into this, by the way. Um, <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm pretty and not too scared of Trayvon, but um, the defense overall is kind of you know it's pretty good, which is not good for us because um, our O line isn't that good. It's still, you know, it's still improving. I don't want to say by the weeks because sometimes they're good, sometimes you know they can't protect, but um, they just let Jones get sacked. But um, yeah, I think our O line is gonna have a tough time. Containing the rush, the pass rush. Um, offensively, for for Dallas, um, I don't think Cooper Rush is going to light us up. I know CD is going to be his favorite target, and plus Noah Brown's there too. Really it's underrated right now, under the radar. Um, but, um, yeah. That plus Zeke as well in the backfield. Um, Zeke isn't making as impactful plays. Um, on the other hand, it's only Pollard is. So that's the one person I'm scared of. Because if he starts running on top of us, uh, we're going to have a problem. But, uh, D, yeah, overall, overall, um, the only thing that gets me is the pass rush and Tony Pollard. That's pretty much it. Um, on the giant side... I already stated I'm scared, kind of concerned for the O line, as they're you know they're getting better, slightly, um, but I'm not, I'm I I wouldn't. I could see them giving up a couple sacks. Um, I know, what's it called? I know Tony's out. Tony's out. Wandale's out, uh, which isn't good. So only thing that could be good for is Kenny Galladay. You know I'm hoping because I want him to like you know succeed um I want Kenny Ali to get more touches um hopefully um if we rely on Saquon I know Dallas has a good run D um if we rely on Saquon then we should be good hopefully uh Daniel Jones doesn't have to pass as much hopefully not <laughs> hopefully he doesn't I'm saying hopefully a lot well just praying that he doesn't throw any picks that's what I'm saying. Um, yeah. If Saquon is good, then he's good. If Jones is good, then he's good. Um, but right now, it's on the back of Saquon's because obviously Jones has made a lot of mistakes throughout these two weeks. And the offense hasn't looked good in, during the first half of those two weeks. So hopefully there is a rejuvenation of this and we can get things going. Um... Yeah, defensively, we're getting Thibodeau and Ojolari back, which is very good. Um, because I don't think that Dallas O-line is as good as it was before. Um, I think we can get a couple sacks, but not as much. Like, they're good. They're still good, but not. But like I said, they're not as good as before. Secondary for us is the more concerning part because um, Aaron Robinson's still, still out. Cordell Flott's going to be taking his place with, um, I think Tony Jefferson's playing and Fabian Moreau, but still, they're, they're kind of, uh, they're veterans, so, like, hopefully they know, not, hopefully they know what they're doing, they know what they're doing, it's just like, um, you know, sometimes they get burned, so, just praying that that doesn't happen. Other than that, um, you know, I'm biased into saying that we have this game, because, on paper, you know, Dax out, right? Um, that alone, because uh, he, what's it called? He's owned us for like the past couple years. 
Um, I think he's undefeated against us, if I'm being honest. I'm, I want to say the Giants have this game, but it all comes down to how the O-line protects the quarterback and how they handle the pass rush, because ultimately that's what it's going to come down to. My heart says the Giants, and that's what I'm going to stick with. Hopefully, I'm not wrong. But I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the Giants, and um, as for a score, see now that's where you got me because this can go anyway, anywhere, anyway. Um, honestly, I'm thinking like <sighs> this might come down to a field goal again, dude. If not like two points, because that's how Giants games has been for like the past two weeks. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna... I don't wanna say I'm pretty sure because it seems like I'm cocky. Um, but um, I wanna say that the Giants win this game like 24 to like 21. That's that's minimum. Um, alternatively, I can see Dallas winning this game too. So um, it can we can go either or. I'm just praying that we're undefeated, that we go three and oh. Three and oh. I don't know how it's gonna look like in the video. Hopefully I got the one of them right. Um but yeah. I'm gonna have uh let me see. This is my brother's. I'm gonna have this on at school. I'm gonna have it on at university. Um, you know, for good luck. Yeah, it's a tuck jersey, it's his so uh, I'm gonna be repping it. I'm gonna wearing it during the game, obviously. But uh yeah. He's 3-0. Peace.